Hi, I'm Ben Kuzinski from 20Q Group, an authorized reseller of business intelligence products from the company Business Insight. In this video, we will create a predictive model that shows which customers are about to churn. The TIM software suite is a software package used for solving business intelligence problems. We will focus our attention on only one component of the TIM software suite, the predictive analytics software named TIM. TIM creates predictive models based on your data. Using these models, you can predict outcomes like sales revenue and conversion rates, as well as gaining customer insights useful in making your products or services even more desirable to your target market. There are two types of churners for subscription-based services. This is an example taken from a pay TV company. This graph shows us that after 12 months, the TV company loses 9% of its customers. This is logical. When the annual subscription finishes, the customer decides to churn or, in other words, leave the current operator for another one. We will call the churners who leave after 12 months commercial churners. Some other churners decided to churn before the end of the yearly subscription. We will call these churners financial churners. Typically, financial churners stop their subscription because they have no more money. This means that contacting them to offer an incentive to continue their subscription would be useless and even counterproductive. Studies have demonstrated that contacting financial churners could cause retention rates to decrease instead of increasing. This is exactly the opposite of the effect that we want to obtain. We must thus create a model that predicts which customers are commercial churners. In a previous video, we created a predictive model for general churn as opposed to commercial or financial churn. This is the analysis report that we got. The most important variable is months in service. The months in service simply tells us that after 12 months, once the annual subscription is finished, the customer decides to churn. This is not a very interesting insight. We will now create a new and better predictive model that shows us which customers are commercial churners. Let's run TIM. This is the main interface of TIM. First, we have to select the data source. Let's browse for our data set. We will once again use the cell to cell data set. This data set contains information about the customers of a mobile phone operator. Let's start to analyze this data set. Tim just finished analyzing the data set and attempted to determine the type of each column. This information is saved inside a type XML file. We can click on the Yes button to edit this type XML file. Now, inside this data set, we have 69 columns. The first column is the key. The second column is the churn. We won't define our prediction target as churn just yet. Let's start analyzing this data set. The analysis is complete. Let's begin by pressing Start a Multivariate Prediction Analysis. We still have to define the target column. Let's go to the Target Definition tab. We want to detect commercial churners. Our prediction target will be a new virtual column that Tim will add to the existing column. As usual, our target column must contain only binary values, true or false. It means that our new virtual column must contain true for all of the commercial churners. Let's create a Boolean expression that is true for all the commercial churners. I just created a Boolean expression that is true for all the individuals that have churned after the observation date and that are approaching the end of their annual subscription. The month in service is between 11 and 13. Let's create the first predictive model. Computations are now complete. Let's have a look at the analysis report. We end up with only one variable, number of days of the current equipment, which makes sense. Since we defined our target to be all the people that have the month in service variable between 11 and 13, a good way to detect these people is to use the number of days of the current equipment. Tim found the right variable that is able to detect the individual approaching the end of their annual subscription. Remember, we defined the target as the churners approaching the end of their annual subscription. What happened to the churner part of the target? Actually, the end of subscription concept is so easy to detect in the data that Tim focused all its attention on detecting this concept, neglecting the churner concept. One way to prevent Tim from focusing only on the end of subscription concept is to remove all variables linked to the date. Since the date is no longer available in the data, it becomes impossible for Tim to predict if the customer is close to the end of his annual subscription. This way, Tim will focus on the commercial churn concept because it's still possible to detect this concept from the remaining available data. We will go to the Select Variable tab and remove the columns Number of Days of the Current Equipment and rerun Tim.
Computations are now complete. Let's have a look at the analysis report. This time, we see that Tim used the variable months in service. We must remove this variable for the same reason that we removed the number of days of the current equipment variable. We will go to the Select Variable tab, remove the column Months in Service, and rerun Tim. Computations are now complete. Let's have a look at the analysis report. This time we obtained a good model. The most important variable to predict the commercial churner is the number of calls previously made to the retention team. More precisely, the most crucial moment is when the customer has placed only one call to the retention team. We must be very careful at this stage. The customer is really close to churning. This concludes our short demonstration. Tim, the second generation data mining software removes all technological risks linked to data mining projects and allows you to exploit the full potential of your databases in minutes. The future of database marketing starts right now with Tim. For more information, please visit business-insight.com or 20q-group.com.